It was a late evening, and Luna had just raised the moon at the night sky. She was relaxing in her room after a long day of taking care of her royal duties. But there was only one thing on her mind that evening. She was thinking about her boyfriend. Luna actually had been dating one particular stallion for about a part of a year already. She was looking forward to this. The next day, she and her boyfriend is going to go have a dinner date to celebrate their one year anniversary. But the next day, Luna and Celestia were having breakfast and they were just small talking about during the day and Luna mentioned that it was her one year anniversary to boyfriend. Celestia was actually quite excited for her sister to have found some partner to be with. Ever since she has been back, Celestia had been worried about her sister if she would find some pony. Ever since she had returned back and was free from the Nightmare Moon's influence. But the same afternoon, just only a couple of hours before the evening, Luna received a message, a letter, from her boyfriend. She was well excited, maybe that he was telling her that they he was going to be there a little bit earlier than usual, or something. But as she was reading the letter, it said, Dear Luna, I'm sorry to inform you, but this might be hard to believe, but I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be able to meet you for our anniversary, because I have fallen in love with some pony elves. I'm sorry that it has been a year already, but I have been in love with this mare for the past two months. And I'm sorry. And I best hope you have a bit. I wish you the best of luck to find someone else to be with. And Luna was devastated. She couldn't even believe her boyfriend just dumped her, like in a letter. She was crying a lot in her room. And at the moment, Celestia was just walking in the hallway past when she heard a cry. She knocked on the door, but Luna didn't answer. So she opened the door just slowly and just peeked in and asked if something was wrong. She saw her sister was crying, literally bawling her eyes out on the bed. She has never seen her sister like this before. Now, Celestia was concerned. So she walked up to, Celeste, to Luna's bed and asked once again. But it was like Luna ignored or even, even hear Celestia. She was crying so much that she couldn't even barely hear anything else, anything else around her. So they actually just nothing. She found the letter and read it. And she was deaf, stayed herself. Because ever since Luna and her boyfriend start dating, and after have been reaching the one year anniversary mark, she was very much excited for sister. She has never seen her so happy. Ever since she came back for being a nightmare moon, she was afraid that ponies would hate her, afraid of the being that she used to be nightmare moon, or that she could be turned into nightmare moon at any point. But having met this stallion made a new turn in Luna's life. But Luna saw that her sister read the letter and said, I can't believe he actually just left me like that. Luna, I'm so sorry. I I didn't know what to believe. But before Celeste could say anything else, Luna said, Please, can you leave? I want to be alone. And Celestia had to respect her sister's wishes, so she left the letter in her room and left. But before she left, she said, If you want to talk, you know where to find me. Luna nodded and Celestia closed the door. For the next couple of days, Luna barely did, didn't do anything much else. If she would have to sign some documents, she did that in her own room. Because she didn't want to want to do anything else because she wanted to prefer to be alone 
or let's be left alone for a while. But it was a lot of things about that what happened to Celestia or Soluna in the past, but this was probably the one of the worst things that has happened to Luna. Because ever since she found her ex-boyfriend, she was really happy. She could have seen a potential future with him, seeing him there getting married, start a family together. But now this. So she wasn't really sure if she's going to be with some pony else, or if she has just given up hope. Because even bef long before, in fact, in several hundreds, over a thousand years ago, before she even became Nightman Moon, she were, in fact, in love with Warm Sacred Stallion, but they never actually end up dating or anything because she was afraid that he wouldn't even date a royalty because he wasn't a normal or royalty blood. So it came to that. So having the stallion asking her only about a year earlier, she was ecstatic. She was really happy to have finally found some pony that she could perhaps have a future with. But it was just devastating the effect from this. Because she could see a, a much happy life with this particular stallion. But having him breaking her heart like that, she almost had no trust in stallions anymore. After almost two months of all this, after the break -in, Luna decided she had to move on and try to live as life was before she even met this stallion. Still, though, it was a lot of parts of her life ever since then that she was felt heartbroken. Because every time when Celestia mentioned anything about Cadence, Shining Armor, or any other of their friends who has special song pony, she doesn't realize that immediately how they affected Luna. But hearing some of their friends or some of their relatives that have had song pony in their lives, made them to realize it affected them such badly way. She really felt heartbroken. So Luna told Celestia to at least not mention anything like about romance, love, or anything like it when she's around because it hurts. And Celestia agreed. But after those two months, one day Celestia told Luna maybe that Maybe it's time to move on and maybe try to find something else to be with. But Luna said, said that she wasn't ready for a new dating experience. So, but even though Luna realized that Celestia had a part, had a point, that it doesn't have to be, that she doesn't have to fill in such grudge towards her ex boyfriend. He is the one who broke up, not her. And she said that but she knew that this is part of life experience. But even though that Luna wanted to find some new pony to be with, she was hadn't been an experience. So one day, when she was out in a town for just walking, she overheard some ponies talking about this speed dating service. She was curious, and she was standing there listening that how does this pony are. Oh, so you really tried the speed dating? Yeah, it actually worked. And I'm actually are going out with this stallion tomorrow. And and who knows? Maybe this could be a potential new boyfriend. Oh, I like it for you. Celestia was probably could know more about this, thought Luna. So Luna went back to the castle. And when she found Celestia in her room, she asked her about this speed dating service. Celestia looked at her sister a little bit curious and asked, What do you ask? Well, I overheard some ponies talking about it, and I was never heard of it, and I thought maybe you could hear, maybe did know something about it. Celestia smiled and nodded that she did, but at least what she has been what she had at least been told. She remembered what Rarity told her about speed dating after she tried it for herself herself once before she and Spike end up as a official couple. So she explained to Luna well, at least what she knows. And Luna thanked her and she decided 
why not go try this speed dating service? It could be fun and then also a lot of experience to get to know what other stallions are looking for in a potential partner. So two days later on a Friday, Luna actually went to the speeding service location. And as the, the ones who's organizing it saw Luna, she was really surprised to see one of the royal princesses at this speed dating. She was asking how she could help her, and Luna said that she was there to try the speed dating. It surprised her, even even some other ponies actually saw this and even over her, they were all surprised. But the organizer helped her and Luna well later matched with several stallions, but she didn't felt any sort of connection or didn't seem to have any common interest. But it wasn't un until near the end when she was matched with one particular stallion by the name Starstep. Starstep though was a Pegasus. He was actually very polite, very gentle, and he was very much oh, completely as like her old ex-boyfriend. Except for one thing, he didn't lie or stuff. He actually admits that he had also been had been trying to find suspicious some pony after one of his ex actually cheated on him after almost two years. She was surprised that that happened. After they both had left the speed dating, they actually agreed to go somewhere to just grab something to, to eat. So they continued the talking and get to know each other a little bit better. At first, Luna maybe thought this could be a potential new friendship. Because even though they did have things in common and some common things that happened to them, she didn't seem at first any, anything more as a friendship with this star step. But she did like his company and for one of the things that he actually shared her up after what happened to her. And after they left this this small diner, he said that he'd like to meet her up and once again, maybe just have a talk, just to get to know each other better. And she agreed. Even when Luna came back to the castle, Celestia asked her how it went. She said that it actually went well and that she just didn't felt any sort of connection except that she mentioned Star Stuff. But Luna said that she didn't seem to anything more as a friendship with him. But at least Celestia Smiley said, at least that you made a new friend, that's also a good positive. And Luna nodded and agreed. So for the next several weeks, in fact, Luna and Star Step started to showing it start to start to spend time with each other. Get to know each other. They often went to the park or just on a diner, just grabbing some something to eat and just to get to know each other. But after almost almost a month of being spend time together, Starship actually asked her out on an official date. When he did, Luna was actually a bit puzzled. She was stunned that he actually had asked her. But she agreed to say yes on that. Even though that she maybe think that me that's not gonna be at just one single date, maybe there wasn't any this the right chemistry between each other. But when they went to the date though, it was actually more pleasant than she expected. He was actually very more polite and he actually made her laugh a lot more than what she expected. But even this was the first state, they never even made it as official. Because both Star Step and Luna had their had their set, set of rules. They wouldn't even made it official the couple after she or he had been dating one particular pony for about almost two months. And Starship said that that was actually not a bad idea. Because after just one single date, he didn't know if it was gonna be a good play, good thing to do, because he didn't want to rush into a new relationship that fast. But ever since then, after they started hang they started going out a bit more often. And after almost three months they actually felt they were very much very exclusive. So, Luna and Startstep actually made it official. 
when they told Luna or Celestia, she was very happy for her sister, but also a little bit hesitating. She was hoping that this, this is not going to be a short-term relationship. But somehow she had a felt a sense this could actually be a very long term. And Luna even had the same hopes. Because even though they weren't be able to see each other almost every single day or every single week, to the mostly due to the fact of her being as the one of the royals and also one of the main you know one of the cool rulers of the entire kingdom, and that she had to travel to some other kingdoms for royal diplomatic missions or meetings like that. So that may have been the main reason why. And also she was afraid that when Startstep wasn't being able to see her as so often as they, she wanted, he would have left her. But he ensured her that, that is not happening. Because he understands that being a royal, or especially one of the rulers of an entire kingdom, is a very time consuming. And is that if I was the prince or king of the kingdom, I would have prevailed it pretty much the same thing, etc. But that makes me smile and realize that he has a point. But even when they made officially announced to the to public that Luna has a new boyfriend, and the public actually accepted him, even the worst some part of pony population that may have just felt that. Maybe this is going to be a long term, and maybe it will end soon. But it didn't. Because they never actually fight anything at all. Luna and Starship never fought. Not even for the slightest thing. They may have some, some slight argue or some things, but they never actually turned into fights. And there was something both actually felt happy about, at least. Since both knows that fights is common among relationships, but they never actually didn't want to have it happen. But after a while though, Luna actually felt that Starstep was a true soulmate. But even though her relationship with Starstep was really strong, even from the very start, she was very much hesitating to believe of any of her feelings for towards Starstep was gonna be any long term, but she even mentioned this to him though, and he understood, because ever since he was told about about her previous boyfriend did, and he didn't, he said that he didn't blame her to have such, such feelings or doubts about her relationship with Starstep, even when they made it official, and especially when he had told her that he used to be in, a, in his pre previous past relationship with a mayor, which had been was two years, that it didn't last that long after he found out that she had been cheating on him with another, a friend of his, in fact. And that devastated him. Because after he found out that they had been cheating on him for two months, he broke up the... Uh, the relationship with her, and also cut all contacts with that particular friend. Because he couldn't believe one of his closest friends actually portrayed his trust. And his, and ever since then, he had never hired, had even heard anything from both of them. Last time he heard, they actually moved to another town, but he didn't care for which one. And from what he heard, they actually got married. And Luna was actually very sorry to hear that. At least though, she never had experienced a cheating, only that, well, it's not the same way though, but at least her ex-boyfriend actually announced that he was in love with another mayor for at least a person while. And even though that she had to find out for herself. Starstep actually agreed. That was maybe for the best that that he did come out and informed how it actually went to. It just happened to going through such drama or such breakup like where how Starstep did. It was the, one of the worst things he had ever experienced, he said. But one day, 
when when Luna were in the, at the public park just to relax, she was ex actually expecting or was waiting for Star Step. She was sitting under a tree, closing her eyes and just listening to the birds when she heard a voice. Hey Luna. She was expecting to see Star Step in front of her. But it wasn't. It was actually her ex boyfriend. And it has been almost three months ever since her ex boyfriend left her. What, what are you doing here? Um, I came back in town to, you know, I was actually have been thinking about uh, our breakup and I just wanted to see you and uh, I wanted to try to ask you if you can give me a second chance. But I'm sorry, but I only had some pony else now. Oh, you mean that star step pony? Yeah, he is not good for you. I'm. You left me because you want to be with some pony else. And you did l just break up with me by a letter. That is one of the lowest things that you can actually have done. Please, I'm asking you, give me a second chance. What about the other mayor? What about her? It turns out when he left her, when he left Luna, he did start going dating his other mayor for about a couple, of, for about almost two months before she left him because she didn't felt that there were no connection. Even though he is aware who she is that Luna is dating Star Step, but he didn't want to take a no for an answer. He tried and tried and tried to plea her to give her give him a second chance. And he said that he was actually even thinking about proposing to her. But when he said that, she said, Even if you did propose to me, I would say no. I would never want to be with someone like Pony like you. And she just stood up and as he was about to, to as she was about to, to walk away, he said, Please, just give me a chance, Luna. I promise I I promise I have been improved myself. But then there was another one. Luna, is this pony bothering you? There was Star Step. Oh, sweetie, you came. Sorry, I'm a little bit light. Um, who's this? Before Luna can say anything, I'm Luna's boyfriend. Who are you? I'm her boyfriend. Who are you? But Luna then said, "This is my ex. You know the pony that, you know." Star Step looked surprised and a little bit angry and said to him. Listen, I don't want to have anything to be violence or fighting you. You should know that Luna doesn't love you anymore. What you did to her was one of the most lowest anything you could have done. You broke her trust. You broke her heart. And you've been expecting her to trust you ever since again? There is no matter to saying that you would do it again and again, course towards her. I would never do that. You did. Once. And the efforts many say, if you did it, do it once, you made it do it twice. This only matters saying when you will break her heart. I never do that again. I promise. I love her. But then let her choose who she wants to be with. And if she chooses the one that she wants to be with, if she chooses me, then leave her alone. You will find some pony else to be with. You can't force her. Fine. Then, Luna then and I was asked from both of them to have their both statements. Her ex said, Luna, I'm sorry. I feel like a big idiot what I did. I'm, I admit to that. I was just blinded by this other mayor's promises of future, a big fortune. It turns out that mayor was, well, belonged to a wealthy family. And he said, she promised me if we would get married, she would help me to have at least a part of fortune so that I could have started my own business. But that never happened. I'm sorry. But after you broke my heart like that in a letter, I promised myself, if you came back, I would never trust you. Never believe a single word. So I'm sorry. I'm choosing that star step. And then Luna walked up to him and, and Starstep said, 
before you say or try to do anything. I may be able to help you with this. Oh, really? How? Then Starzep walked up to him and whispered something. And her ex stood there and listened and said, Really? Starzep nodded and said, If you go there, telling her by the, by my name, and you will probably have to find out. After her ex left, Luna asked Starzep what he said to him. Oh, nothing much, except that I have a friend that's actually looking for a boyfriend. Who? He actually mentioned that he had another close friend, a female, a mare, would have been single for a full bit for about almost three years. She was um, feeling lonely, and she didn't have any particular luck in finding updates or anything. Most of them ended quite often. So when he mentioned about her to him, to Luna's ex, and that if he goes to her place and saying that Star Step has sent him, or that he is a friend of Star Step, she probably would give him a chance. I hope that works, said Luna. It don't worry, it will, trust me. And he was actually right though, because only a couple of weeks afterwards, Starstep was told by his friend that she and Aluna's ex are now officially dating. And he was actually serious about it. Because really a couple of months later, or even almost a year later, Luna and Starstep was find out that Luna's ex and Starstep's friend actually got married. And that after even they have been themselves been together for about a year, Luna's like, you really have a, a key mind open for that. And you was right. I'm sorry if I doubt you. And Starset had just said, don't rush it out, don't mind it. I actually had a felt like a sense that they could actually be in the right for each other. And in fact, Luna, I was right about one other thing. Oh, what I be? You. Ever since you came to Mao, I have never been this happy. Even though you're royalty and I'm not, I don't care. I would have married you, start a family, even if you weren't royalty. That made her smile and blush a little bit and said, I don't even care if you're not royal or noble. I love you more than anything in this world, no matter what or who you were. Or what you were doing for time at work, I love you anyway. Even though Luna and Starstep had been together for about a year, he actually felt happy to be with someone like her. Even, even though that when her ex came back, he actually didn't have any fear that she would even take him back though. But it was something that he was fearing that that Luna's ex was trying again and again and again. In order to get her back. But when actually when he told her he told him about her his friend himself, it actually worked out. But after but almost been out together for another year, total two years, he actually took her to a restaurant to celebrate a two years anniversary, and even she actually had a good time, but he had something special planned for that. He actually proposed to his girlfriend, Luna. When he said, Luna, ever since we have been together for two years, it felt like an eternity. And I feel very much happy to be with you. Do you want to be my wife? She said yes immediately. When they told their friends and family, what is Luna, that was especially Celestia, she was very excited for sister. They decided to have their wedding a couple in a couple of weeks. Rarity offered her chance uh, her offer to be making a dress and suit for both Luna and Starstep. And Celestia decided to be the one to perform the ceremony. Luna had asked Twilight to be her bridesmaid and Starstep he had actually had asked Spike 
to be his best man, since they actually got to know each other a bit better over time. And everybody had actually had a good time. Even at the party that was when Pinky had organized, every, all of the guests had a great time. It just having an amazing time. And even Discord had a special gift for Starstep and Luna. He snapped his fingers and said that now Starstep was now immortal like herself. She was very excited and even he was taken off back, but he didn't mind it at all. They actually went to Saddle Arabia for being there for two weeks for a honeymoon and they had a great time. Just watching or exploring, doing sightseeing, just having such great romantic time together. They were just happy to have been entered a new chapter in life with the some pony they loved the most of all in the whole world. And just barely three years after they married, Luna and Starstep announced they were expecting their first child. But it was in fact not just one, but expecting twins, two daughters in fact, and both was born as Alicorn. Luna and, Sol and, and Starstep could have been happier to be with the one they love the most and have this amazing family. And this is how Luna and Starstep found a true love for a big family together, the end.